you're bringing your elbow back to your waist. Yeah, there, that was a good one. I was a shy child myself, and I just know how much horses have done for me over the years. And so I thought that there are a lot of young girls out there that could use the support of animals to help them learn confidence and how to work in teams and how to work in partnership. I'm an only child, but I do have three pets. A dog named Gravy, he's an old chihuahua. Oh. A tabby cat named Pumpkin, and the fluffiest bunny you've ever seen named Con Candy. Welcome, I'm so excited. And so before we go out to the barn, there's just a couple other things we have to do. If you look in your folder, you'll see something called Barn Guidelines. Pony Partners is a 10-week program with a set curriculum. Of course, it starts with being safe in the barn. Never go into their stalls out here on the aisle or in the pasture without an adult, okay? But right, right off the bat in the first few weeks, we talk a lot about the horse world, the nonverbal world. Like He's gonna like you a lot because you're quiet and you're gentle. <laughs> that makes him feel very safe. He likes that. Because horses live in a nonverbal world, you have to become a master of recognizing body language. See how he's putting his head lower and lower? That means he feels safe with you. And if girls could think about that in regards to people, their friends, their family, it was going to help them navigate their social world and help them gain confidence. When we work in the barn, they're divided into pairs and they each have a pony and a volunteer working with them. Slow movements, nice quiet voice. Nice well, you get really scared. You'll just get nervous. We don't want him to be nervous. And we have power to make him comfortable, so that's what we'll do. Power. You have the power to make him comfortable. Right from the start, they have to learn how to negotiate all the tasks that need to be done with their partner. And the horse is a large, responsive animal. Thor here weighs about 800 pounds. So again, when our girls first come to us, they think, how is this big, large animal, how, how is this horse even going to listen to me? You know, I, they might not feel powerful themselves. They might not have the confidence. Most of them have never put the halter on or led a horse. Okay. That's all right. I'll hold on to him and just, that's it. Put it right through there. And can you reach up and over those ears? It's a long way. I heard those ears are bendy. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yes. So as soon as we have taught them how to put on the halter and groom the horse, then the next thing is is we start lead, having to lead through obstacle courses. Okay, you ready? Just tell them to walk on. Walk on, Nathan. Give them a talk. Good. Very good. That can be incredibly kind of scary, exciting. Some kids, you know, they need to bring their energy up to get the horse where they want. Other kids, they need to bring their energy down to get the job done. But pretty much at the end of the day, when they've led all the different ponies through the obstacle course, they feel just incredibly empowered that here was this large animal and they got that pony to do what needed to be done. He listened. One week, we label the horses with post-it notes. And our idea is if you're gonna be the horse's friend and in the horse's world, you need to know the horse and what he eats and how he lives and his body parts so that you can talk with each other about it. But we like to have fun too. So we put post-it notes all over the horse um, where again, it, everything's a team building experience in that they have to take turns in doing it and who's gonna hold the post-it and who's gonna put the post-it on next. So we're always bringing it back to the girls, the group. All right, who's next? Carrie, what she got? Why? Oh, so we don't want to stick it in his eye, obviously, but we could stick I, it here, pointing towards his eye. Yep. I know. I know it's an arrow. There, I got an arrow. There. <laughs> At the end of the day, though, the pony is covered in head to toe to post-its, and they usually get a big kick out of that. They think that's really fun. <laughs> horse by taking everything off. Very nice. Good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So today we're going to read a story. I don't know if any of you have ever seen this story. 
Fritz and the Beautiful Horses? Anyone know this book? No. One week, uh, we read a book called Fritz and the Beautiful Horses. And it's about a pony named Fritz. Fritz was not beautiful. He had a long, tangled mane, whiskers on his muzzle, and short legs. And he's not the most beautiful or talented pony, but he's the most trustworthy and dependable horse. And in the story, it's Fritz that saves the day. So Fritz was given a special place in the walled city. All the children cared for him and became his friends. Yes. Fritz! Ooh. Doesn't Fritz look like some of our Icelandic ponies? Yep. Yeah. yeah. He's beautiful. After we read the story, we come out and we build an obstacle course that reflects the story, how the, the progression of the story. Well, that's the city where he goes to. Those are like the walls of the city because it's a walled city. No, this looks perfect. Just add a couple more on the end. Ta-da! That's perfect. And then we decorate the ponies from head to tail because these are our most wonderful, dependable ponies. Yeah. Ow, my horse, Gussie, like he looks like a real star, dude. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> time for our parade. And then the girls go in and do the obstacle perfect. course. and then share with each other the parts of the decoration they did on the pony that they liked the best. Here's My the favorite like. part is the little feathers. If you come up yeah. front, you can see. And why they think their pony is, you know, super dependable like Fritz. <laughs> all right, nice job. Now let's all say hooray to the dependable ponies. Hooray, hooray. hooray. dependable ponies. Yay. Yay. Right. One of the main things we're trying to do is help the girls feel effective working with the horses. Okay. Nice that? job, Julia. Good control. He knew exactly who to depend on and who was leading. Our belief is that if they feel effective working with the horses, they're going to be more effective in their life. And they're going to realize that they're stronger than they think they are, that they've got more abilities than they think they have. And that ability to be effective in life comes from inside you. And we think that we can teach that here at Pony Partners. Thank you.